Hello everybody uh, and hello for a very long time. Uh, I My deepest uh, apologies that I have not been able to connect to all of you uh, with some useful videos and some chance to learn from you, some chance to discuss a few things. But here I am and uh, let's hope that uh, I continue to make some videos uh, and learn new things and uh, share that with you uh, with all of you. So, uh, in the recent times, uh, I have been working on a few things. Uh, as you all know, that my my background is uh, mainly from the RAM, radio and network side. Uh, so I have been come across uh, come across some some projects where I was exposed to uh, the, the core part of the network, and I found out that as we move towards 5G and uh, the rest of 5G applications and the use cases and the monetization effort. RAN and core will start <clears throat> getting very close to each other. And that's kind of an end-to-end -end picture uh, of the network. And people who have that end-to-end -end picture uh, will be of uh, great usage to organizations. So this is my uh, effort to understand core a bit more. And I have started from scratch. So I'm learning two things, three things on, on the side. And I will try that as I learn, I share it here so people from across the board who are also trying to learn out new things uh, can get some that. So today uh, the topic is uh, 5G code and I'm also uh, new to it so we'll just try to uh, get into it together. So the first and most important thing about 5G code is that it has evolved over the last few releases of uh, 3GPP that started from the release 15 uh, where the concept of uh, 5G code was first introduced and in the release 15 as you all would remember that 5G was initially launched with the MSC network where actually the LTE network was connected to the EPC and it got to 5G as a radio resource all the control part was connected to the EPC so 5G core uh, gives us that capability where we remove that NSC connection and we go to standalone, which is your standalone where you do not have an LTE connection or LTE control plane uh, on your core side and we have a complete standalone NR network. So what are the key features uh, that uh, 5G core uh, intended to have or has already got based on these standardization? Number, the number one thing was SBA, that is your service based architecture. So, what do you uh, mean by service based architecture? So, as all of you who have, might have worked in 2G, 3G, 4G, uh, we might be uh, known to interfaces like S1 interface. A1 inter A interface, U interface, etc. etc. Usually in the telecom world, uh, components talk to each other with a standardized interface, and those sometimes those interfaces are standardized to the extent that take that particular software or particular hardware out of that network and it's basically useless. So you have to follow those interface protocols to talk to uh, that component. In the service-based architecture, uh, what uh, the 3GPP specifications have done is that they have uh, had a modular approach. So the entire functionalities of 5G cores have been distributed into different functions. So let's try to write those functions. I have also learned it uh, recently. So let's try to write this down. So this is MSSF and we have NRF. Then we have AF, then we have ATM, the next thing is blocks. Then we have your OSF, AF, SMF. And what happens is that all of these functions, which are part of the 5G code, they talk to each other based on uh, protocol. 
is similar to your HTTP protocol where you have get, you have uh, send uh, get kind of functionality. So if you take this function out of here and you want to write an app, write a program to get some information from it, you can do that. So similarly, all to the other uh, modules as well. So when you hear uh, these days about programmable networks or writing the APIs to the network, this is a structure which is friendly to that concept where you can write a particular API based on a particular network functionality and then you can actually implement it using this, uh, this structure. So this is, these are different functionality. This is NSSF, this is device function, then this is another function NEF, then this is a repository function, this is your I have forgotten it, but this is another UDM function, uh, unified data management function. Then this is your authentication function. This is your main mobility function, uh, EMF, and then it's your session management function. So this is the part of the code, and then you go on to the user. So here is your user. Here is your RAN. Here is your UPF, and here is your data network. So this will be your N1. This is your N2, and I think this was N3, this is N4, and this is N6. So this is the main part, which is service-based architecture. Then another part is your slicing. So 5G code gives us the ability to define slices where we do not have to build different physical or software networks for different functionality we can actually slice the network into different software based or you can say functionality based networks so in your one network you can have a different slice for enterprise you can have a different slice for fixed wireless you can have a different slice for your reliability communications and this is also one part one very important part of the 5g code and 5g code has been developed considering uh, the slicing functionality Another part, which is your massive machine communication. This massive has gone into the critical form. So 5G code gives us that reliability, that latency performance that we can now uh, envision uh, machine uh, type communication with very critical reliability required. That can be machine critical, that can be remote surgeries, that can be vehicle to vehicle communication and etc. So this is, you can say, uh, a brief introduction of uh, 5G code. I will go through all these functions separately and how they communicate with each other and of course uh, then share it with you as well. Hopefully uh, you don't have liked this session and hopefully we can journey on, we can continue on this journey of 5G code uh, together. Thank you so much. See you next time.